sitting there the Victoria one. last night. There she is. Oh yes, it was beautiful last night. She was a vision, a doll. I was just they had a band, we couldn't dance. I had you under the bar. Yeah. Under the bar. I've yeah. waited for a girl to say that my whole life. <laughs> she was just bars and everything. It makes me so happy. Anyways, have yourself a wonderful day, folks. We'll see you on the road. Cheers. <laughs> just a great charity and a great cause and a great week. And these boys keep getting me drunk every night. We've got nearly £5,000 now, so keep the money coming in. And um, we'll uh, hopefully, uh, as a team, raise quite a bit of money for the charity. I think it's, having seen what we saw yesterday in the last few days, it's, it just shows what it's all about. So, very good. I am feeling fantastic. Um, it's great to see all the cyclists back out, and the morale is good. There you go. It's a little chilly here in the, in the Psalm region. Okay. Last yeah. night at the Kangaroo Court, it was said we couldn't get a custodial sentence for extreme sharking with, <laughs> with, with endangerment of life, but we got a tagging. Slightly <laughs> <laughs> tired, but everything's fine. It was a good day yesterday, really good fun. So, oh, Tim, get on. I'm getting wrong for talking now. Sorry. That's strange, isn't it? Teamwork. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Still here. And you're going to be here to the end. Right to the end. Keep, right to Vimy. Keep pushing, man. Hello. Morning. Morning. How you doing? Good. How are you today? Good. Nice and cool. Australian Memorial. Tens of thousands of Australians died in France in the First World War. It's a very moving experience and it's a, it's a fantastic tribute really to all the people who allow us to live today, you know, in a sort of a free society. It's fantastic. Where's the sunshine? It's coming! <laughs> When you're meeting guys on the handbikes, it sort of takes away the fact that you, you can't whinge about the problems that you've got because you look at them and you listen to their attitude and it's like it just makes everything so more, you know, puts it all into perspective. My first one, it's brilliant. I'll be back, I'll be back next year, definitely. Fantastic so far and, and everything's really friendly and everything so it's great fun. Thank you for all your support uh, for the fourth year running and um, it's well worthwhile. Went to the Help for Heroes Ball last November and heard all the talks, um, especially the soldier who said that the first thing he had to do when he was injured was learn to breathe again and I just couldn't um, stop crying really, so that's why really, yeah, just to help. When I was in my mid-teens, living in Belfast, I went one wet afternoon to the Belfast Folk Museum. And there, high up at the end of a gallery, was a big, blown-up black-and-white photograph. And it was of half a dozen or so women in black bombazine dresses down to their feet, straw sun hats, holding scythes. And behind them were stooks of corn that they'd harvest that had been left to dry in the sun. And idly it occurred to me that there weren't any men in the photographs, but I didn't wonder much about it. And then some years later when I was commissioned into the Royal Irish Regiment, I learnt my regimental history. And I then knew where the men were. They were here. And most of them still are.
they shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. When you leave here, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. It's important to remember that they're not statistics, that they're people, that they, they lived and they breathed and they, they had emotion and they had families and those that loved them and cared for them and, and they went because they felt there was some, some injustice that needed to be addressed. And in honoring their memory, we remember that their sacrifice is not ultimately in vain. It's tear-jerking. I don't think there was a Canadian with a, with a dry eye. It's something that's that important to people back home. Oh, Jim! <laughs> if this makes it, you're in absolute that's trouble! It, that's in today's film. <laughs> you don't need anything else, Jim. Just that's